Now we know what React is. Let's take a look at few terms and concepts that will come up throughout this series. JSX Overview JSX is a language which works like JavaScript extension, hence the name JSX. It is a React extension which allows writing JavaScript code that looks like HTML. In other words, JSX is an HTML-like syntax used by React that extends ECMA script so that HTML-like syntax can coexist with React code. The syntax is used by preprocessors, that is, transpilers like Babel. To transform the HTML-like syntax into standard JavaScript objects that a JavaScript engine will parse. JSX is a preprocessor step that adds XML syntax to JavaScript. You can definitely use React without JSX, but JSX makes React a lot more elegant and it is the recommended way. React uses JSX for templating instead of regular JavaScript. It is faster because it performs optimization while compiling code to JavaScript. As compared to JavaScript, JSX is static typed and type safe. That is, most of the errors can be caught during compilation. The generated code runs quicker than a similar code written in JavaScript. So, the quality of application is better when built using JSX since errors are caught early. JSX provides object-oriented features similar to Java or C++, which is very different from primitive prototypal inheritance approach defined by JavaScript. Just like XML, JSX tags have a tag name, attributes and a children. If an attribute value is enclosed in quotes, the value is a string. Otherwise, wrap the value in braces. The value is enclosed like JavaScript extensions and expressions. We'll, we will have a detailed study in the coming up sessions. The respective JSX file will have an extension as .jsx or .js. Let me demonstrate with a simple example. Consider the file name hello.js. It can have a file extension with .jsx or .js. Imagine we had a React component that renders and div HTML tag. JSX allows us to declare an element in manner that closely resembles the HTML. This import React from React loads the React library which is pretty central to our whole application and thus it is required. This class app extends component defines a new react component react components can be big like in pages or small like a custom component to render accordingly so it is a small component here which just renders a simple div so they are very flexible then comes the render function in the app component looks like it's returning HTML, but it's actually JSX. This JSX is translated to regular JavaScript at runtime. This is called by React when component needs to be drawn to the screen. While JSX looks like HTML, it is actually just a preserve way to write react.create element declaration. When a component renders, its output 
tree of react elements or a virtual representation of html elements this component outputs react will then determine what changes to make to make the actual dom based on this react element representation in the case of the app component the html that react writes to the dom will look like react dot create element div null say the text is hello react.js the above line creates a react element and passing three arguments inside where the first is the name of the element which is a div second is an attribute which is passed as a null that has been passed to the div tag and last is the content you pass it into the component which is hello react.js so when your code gets built by the webpack the jsx automatically gets converted into javascript you can see my code here which is compiled and showcased in the browser this is an editor browser you can see which is printed hello to react.js let's take a look how compilation happens in react in react the application programmer writes jsx as a part of react component at build time jsx is compiled into plain javascript code Babel is a JavaScript compiler that includes the ability to compile JSX into regular JavaScript. React uses JSX for templating instead of regular JavaScript. It is faster because it performs optimization while compiling code to JavaScript. This React component via help of babel transforming to plain javascript happens during the compilation time as we have already seen that all of the react components have a render function the render function specifies the html output of a react component jsx provides you to write html like structures for example dom like tree structures in the same file where you write javascript code then preprocessor will transform these expressions into actual javascript code at run time this code plain javascript compiled code is loaded into browser and there comes into account the react we are the help of with the help of virtual dom react takes care of updating the state and then loads into the browser and gets executed this is all about compilation in react jsx looks clean and readable but it can't be interpreted with a browser the drawback of jsx is that it's not readable by the browser so we conclude before our code can be interpreted by the browser it needs to be converted from jsx into pure react all jsx must be converted into create element calls that is a plain javascript call luckily there is a excellent tool for this task which is named as babel which translates into these plain javascript create element calls thus the main advantage of jsx is it provides us with a nice clean way to express react elements in our code it makes sense to us and it's immediately readable and that's the benefit of jsx or in react 
so the javascript converting to react during the into browser happens during the runtime 